It finally happened, guys. I finally beat Geo Wizard's insane high score on the world map, playing no moving, panning, or zooming. 10 seconds per round. Now today I actually managed to beat my personal best and then did this run as well not long after so I must have been just on fire today. I don't know what to say. I got a 24,600 and something and we're going to watch both of these runs. I'll start with the 24,600 one because this run was actually pretty insane. I should have actually beaten GeoWizard's score in this run, but at the end, I'll show you why one little change in my click cost me getting it in this run. But let's just watch it. This first round was actually pretty insane. It was a bit of a lucky plonk. I knew it was Florida from the Spanish moss and the plate, and I just plonked in Gainesville there. Ended up being 500 meters away. Bit of a lucky plonk there, uh, just knew it was Florida. This one was just Japan, another just lucky plonk I guess, going Tokyo, ended up being in Yokohama there, not too far off. And then this one was Ecuador, pretty distinctive, and it was very dry looking, which Guayaquil usually is, um, which it was there. And then the next one uh, kind of just looked like the UK. So I went for London because it's the world map. And uh, yeah, ended up being there. Now this round here was France and it looked like Southern France from the cobblestone floors. So you can see right here, I have it plonked in Avignon with four seconds left. And then I changed to Montpellier with 19,000. 895 points, changed to Montpellier, and it ended up being Avignon, so that would have pushed me over, but 24,628 is a very good score, and then about 10 minutes later, or 15 minutes later even, uh, I got the run. So let's see, here we go, 10 seconds per round, no moving, pan and zooming on the world map. Uh, first round, you love to see it, a little bit of Singapore. It was basically the perfect seed, really, but it wasn't super easy. This one, we had front plates and it looked like Southern US. So I went Dallas here, um, which it ended up being. And then the next one, this one was actually quite a tricky one because we had plain white plates, very distinctive of Russia, and it was hilly. Now, a hilly city like this is not very common. But I think with the general feel of it and the fact that we have a lot of Asian cars, I wanted to go East Russia. And I think there was something about this that just felt like Vladivostok. So that is luckily where I went here and it was Vladivostok there. So a good, a good start. And this one, it says Clapham Pioneer at the top there, which I kind of read at the last second. I was just looking around. And I knew Clapham sounded familiar. I was just like, I'm pretty sure it's London, but I just wanted to quickly check. And I should have actually known that having London lived in London for a little bit. Should have remembered that Clapham is South London there, but it's fine. We got London. And then this one had to be Paris, a perfect seed. And we ended up with 24,821. Couldn't have asked for a better seed, really. But you know, even though we had Singapore, Paris, and London in that, the London one wasn't super obvious. I'm very happy about getting Dallas there and then Vladivostok as well. So, you know, it wasn't the easiest of seeds. We managed to pull it out. I've been grinding this for about a week straight, maybe two weeks straight even, uh, and spent, mm, I would say, about eight or nine hours straight just trying to get this. Got 24,000 more than 24,000 points about uh, six or seven times and then finally came through with this. I think because I kept getting super close, um, I knew that it was possible. So I just stuck to it, ended up doing it. I do want to give a massive shout out to Geo Wizard though. I just had to try this because he was pretty much the reason why I started grinding GeoGuessr so much in 2021. And, uh, you know, I've been playing this game since 2013, since its inception, but very casually. And then GeoWizard's videos just made me want to try and play properly and play no moving games and play competitive and that kind of thing. So uh, he was the main reason why this all happened. And yeah, pretty stoked with 
this score. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's a very short one just because I had to just record this real quick. Um, there are some highlights, but I think that'll do for this one. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.